it's me, Heather, and it's Emotions Causing a Commotion Week, week four of our eight-week challenge, and we're going to talk about um, how essential oils to down Oil Tuesday help with our emotions and, and mood management and that type of thing. So let me find my screen here, put my PowerPoint slide on it, and we're going to go back to this one. Okay, so um, we're talking about emotional health and mood management and how essential oils can help that. So we talked a lot about emotional distress um, earlier on in this eight-week challenge, I believe, in week one, Foundation Week on Stress-Free Thursday. We talked about the effects that stress has on the body. So if you didn't watch that video, I would highly suggest that you go back and watch the video. There are a lot of symptoms to emotional distress, a lot of effects of emotional distress. They can be physical, they can be mental, they can be both, and it can just wreck a lot of havoc on us as people. A lot of disease can be tra um, traced back to um, a big factor being stress. Um, our moods are highly affected by emotional distress. So we want to find natural ways to help deal with this emotional distress because there's going to be emotional distress in life. That's just the way life is. And we want to be able to handle that when it comes at us more effectively. And ideally, um, the reason why I get so into the essential oils is because when you use the essential oils, you're not going to have the side effects that you would with some of the prescription medication. I have a lot of anxiety issues. When I um, first started learning more about um, hormones and really learning a lot about how the food affects our bodies and our emotions. And then um, I did not want to go tell a traditional doctor that I had anxiety issues because I really did not want an anti-anxiety drug. Um, so I just kind of dealt with it natural ways through um, yoga, through massage, through exercise, deep breathing, all the things that I'm teaching you. But, um, the oils I found are really, really effective at helping us to deal with that stress um, that we have. So we're going to talk. I'm going to share that with you today. So brain chemistry. Um, in order to understand how the mood is managed, we need to take a deeper look into the brain chemistry and why the oils work with our brain. So all the feeling and thinking that we do in our head is done by electricity and chemicals. There are about 100,000 miles of blood vessels in the brain. And if you stretched it out, they would circle the earth more than four times. That are just these tiny blood vessels in our brain would circle the earth four times. So there's a lot of stuff going on in this head. You always, you always need that, right? Or sometimes you might think there's not enough. But there's a lot of stuff going on in this head, even if you're not aware. And why do the essential oils work? They're small and they're fat molecules, they're lipid molecules. Um, they support the body physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And by applying one drop of essential oil to our body, we can get systemic benefits within minutes. Now, I always say it takes about 30 seconds for the oil to get into your bloodstream, and in about 30 minutes, it's in every cell of your body. So why do the oils work like they do? Um, the power of aroma. So many individuals understand the power of aroma and the benefit that it has. And if you've ever experienced um, walking into a room or walking past some flowers and just smelling that smell, it can really, you know, as soon as I smell like an orange or some kind of citrus fruit, I immediately just kind of, ah, or the smell of the ocean or, um, the smell of, even outside of plants, like the smell of your grandma's cooking, something it evokes a lot of emotion in you when you smell things. So um, when we talk about smelling, we talk about diffusing. So why should we diffuse? Let me pull this up so it's a little bit bigger for you. How's that? There we go. So why do we diffuse oils? You can simply open up your oil bottle and sniff it, but you can also put it in a diffuser. And if you're not aware of what a diffuser is, it's usually a device that you fill with water to a certain level, and then you can drop a few drops of whatever essential oil you want to diffuse. The sense of smell is 10,000 times more sensitive than any other sense. So our sense of smell is really super, super 
effective um, at dealing with our emotions, and we'll talk about that. We'll talk about why in a minute. Smell can change your moods, your memories, and it can help to ease tension. Now, here's why the smell does that. So it's 10,000 times more um, or stronger than all of our other senses. And when we smell, when a scent enters the nasal cavity, right behind the nasal cavity there, you have the olfactory bulb, and then right behind that is the amygdala part of the brain. And the amygdala is the emotional part of your brain. We're talking about the limbic system of the brain now. So that is going to be where all your emotions are housed. So if you have a direct route from your nose up to that part of your brain, you can see why the sense of smell is really going to affect your emotions. The limbic system, here's a, a look at the limbic system in general. The limbic system is going to um, be the controller of your emotions, of your memories, of your hormones, and I talked about hormones on our Nutrition Monday this week, of your autonomic influence. And autonomic is the things that your body does automatically, like your heartbeat, your respiratory breath, all that kind of stuff. Um, the limbic system is going to control that. Our moods are a complex interplay of emotional and physical components. So we're going to look at mood continuums. There are two, emotional and physical. So, um, and this will make more sense in my next slide, but when you have, you know, you'll see a lot of times I see this because I went to school and I looked at like um, the wellness continuum. So you have on one end, you've got prevention. So you're doing all these things to prevent yourself from getting sick. And on the other end, you've got people that are already sick. And then you got people in between there. Um, that was the one thing I saw years ago in college that made me really think, okay, this is what I want to do. I want to get into the preventative side of things because I want to help people get healthy and well before they get sick. I want to teach them these things so they can live a fuller, happier, healthier life from the get-go and they don't have to go all the way to the other end and get sick before they make those changes and start doing better things in their lives. So... Um, when we talk about the mood continuums here, you've got, on the emotional scale, you've got a lack of peace, and then you've got passionless. So you just, you don't have any, you just don't have any peace in your life, and then you're just kind of lethargic on the emotional end. Um, and then the physical end, you've got a stress side, and then you've got a fatigue side. So, there, and there, you can fall, you know, sometimes you can be more fatigued, you can be just worn out, sometimes you can be real hyped up and more stressed, and it, you know, it just kind of depends. Same with the emotion. You can just be, you know, go, 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 and you have no peace and no calm. And then you can also be the other end where you're way, way, way too calm, where you all become passionless. So what I want to do is take these two continuums and make a little cross with them, okay? And we're going to talk about how some of these emotional blends of the essential oils fit into this. So we've got our, our um, in the middle, we've got our, emotional continuum from the no peace to the no passion and then straight up and down on the vertical line we've got the physical components of fatigued and stressed so if you were to draw the lines like that and then you look in quadrant number one if you have no peace and you're just worn out you're just you know you're just go go going all the time and you're all fired up about stuff and you just can't get any peace and you're tired, you're gonna need to gravitate towards the oils that are calming, composing, and placating. Plas I probably didn't say that right. So, and we'll talk more about what those oils are in a minute. If you just are, you've just gone, gone, gone so long, and you didn't have any peace, and you just went to the other end, and you're just done, you're lethargic, you're, you have no passion, you're just, you don't care because you've been at the other end so long and you're fatigued, okay, then you're going to need some oils that are invigorating, that are stimulating, and that are motivating. So that's going to be quadrant number two. Hope this makes sense. Then if you are, you know, you're on the physical side and you're stressed out, you're not tired, but you're just stressed out. But at the same time, emotionally, you know, physically you're stressing, but emotionally you're just checked out. You're like, I'm here, I'm doing this, but I just really don't care anymore. You're going to need some oil blends that are inspiring, encouraging, and cheering. And then in quadrant number four, you're stressed out and you got no peace. This is kind of where I feel like I am a lot of times. And interestingly enough, grounding, reassuring, and consoling are the blends there. And I use the grounding and reassuring blend every day. So there you go. 
So one of the oils that would fall into quadrant number one when you are fatigued and you have no peace is their Serenity Blend, their Terra Serenity Blend. It is one of my favorite oils. And I use that one a lot. Um, it's, it's wonderful smelling. I think it's heavenly smelling. It's got lavender. It's got chamomile. It's got vanilla. It's got a bunch of different oils in there. And it's, it's called their Restful Blend. It's a very, very nice blend. It helps with stress. It helps to calm you down um, and help you get a good night's rest. And we'll talk a little bit more about it. It's calming. It promotes sleep, like I said. It lessens tension. That's it. So Serenity is one of my faves. It's one of my favorite oils. In fact, I find it interesting to talk about emotions because um, I use the oils every day all the time. And most of the oils that I use on a daily basis are to help with my emotions. So there you go. Those are my favorite ones are the emotional ones. Um, in the second quadrant, you have Citrus Bliss. That's another one of my favorites. Let's take a look at this in depth. It's got an awesome aroma. It smells so good. If you like a dream sickle, you will love Citrus Bliss because it's all of the citrus oils plus vanilla. I'm a big vanilla fan now. And I've got some friends that don't like vanilla, but I love vanilla. Anything with vanilla, I love, love, love. So um, this smells amazing. I put this on me in the morning. I diffuse this. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, it's a very boosting blend because it's got all the citrus oils in there. It's very invigorating. That's what it's called, the invigorating blend. It's also calming, which kind of sounds strange. You can be invigorated and calm, but you can. So you can be ready to go and pumped up, but you can also have that less in stress feeling. Um, and that's what all the citrus oils do. And it's very clearing. It helps to kind of clear your head and elevating. So citrus bliss is one of my favorites. If you have never smelt it or tried it, I highly suggest that you do. It's one of my favorites. We're going to look at quadrant three now. And in that category, so you're stressed out and you have no passion, um, you're going to find that Elevation is going to be a good blend for you. Elevation is the joyful blend with doTERRA. It's uplifting. It's mood elevating. Obviously, it's called Elevation. It helps to energize you and promote a positive mood. So there you go. Then we're going to go to quadrant number four, and there we find balance. Now, balance creates calm and well-being, and that's the grounding blend. I do use balance every day. I really just feel like it's funny, but I pray for balance every day because I got so much stuff going on in my life, and I really strive to keep everything balanced, work life, you know, work home life, and just kids, husband, friends, whatever. All I just try to keep everything in balance. Um, so I do like this. It has a really nice smell. It promotes whole body relaxation. Helps to lessen stress. And I put a drop of balance on the back of my neck every morning. And depending on if I'm really stressed out, I will add serenity to that. That together in the oil world, they call it liquid Xanax. And if I'm not real stressed out, I've got the balance to help lessen the stress. And then I put the citrus bliss on there because it's morning. And it's, it's also, um, it's, you know, it also helps to deal with stress, but it kind of invigorates you at the same time. So, doTERRA has actually an emotional aromatherapy kit that you can purchase. It's got these six oils in there. Motivate, cheer, passion, forgive, console, and peace. Um, you'll find what's real interesting is if you've got these oils in front of you, that's why if you, if you have a chance to make it to a face-to-face -face class, I highly recommend that you do because it's all about the smell of these oils. And you need to put them on you and see how they affect you. And you can't smell them over the computer. But... Um, Smelling these oils, it's fun. Uh, it's a fun thing to do in class to see which one speaks to you. Um, and usually which one speaks to you is probably what you need. So um, I use Peace a lot. I love Peace. It smells heavenly. Uh, it's the reassuring blend. And where I fall in the emotional um, continuum there, that makes sense. Um, sometimes I'll use Cheer. I like the smell of it. Sometimes I like Motivate. Um, I don't use console, forgive, or passion very much, and that probably has something to do with where I fall with um, emotional mood continuum. But these are six great oils. They're great to have. Um, I, I have used them myself or given them to other people, all of them at some point or another. Um, forgive is really good if you're an angry person. I don't tend to be angry, but um, I do have some people around me that can be that way, um, friends or family. And forgive is a real good oil just to help release that anger that you feel. Um, so there's your emotional aromatherapy kit, doTERRA cells. 
There's the nice little system that it comes in. And each delicate blend contains pure therapeutic grade essential oils that can be used aromatically or topically to help balance and brighten your changing moods. So you can see on this wheel, and if you get to a class, I've got a couple emotional wheels, and you can actually look on the wheel, kind of see where you fall and what emotion you're having, and then see what oil ties into that. Because it's not just the blend of oils. Every essential oil can change your mood. Um, there's books on this, there's charts on this, but every oil can change your mood. What doTERRA's done is just take some of those oils and blend them together to make a real good blend to just have a go-to for some of those emotions that are very common. Um, here's a look at the emotional wheel. So you can see how this fits in there. So if you are feeling, let's just pick some of these. If you're feeling um, discouraged or gloomy or distressed, you want to pick a citrus oil. So they have some citrus blends. Cheers got some of the citrus um, oils in there. Motivate, citrus bliss. Um, you can just get wild orange, lemon, lime, lime, grapefruit, bergamot. Those type of things would help with those moods. Um, and let's say you're on, yeah, let's say you're on another end. So let's say you're, you're fearful, you're worried, or you're hurt. Then you want to choose more of the floral um, essential oils. And we talked in the last class of where those oils fall into, like what were the floral oils, what were the citrus oils, what were the spices, the trees, that type of thing. So um, in the blends already made up, console and peace are going to fall in that, towards that end. They're going to be more florally. So you can kind of see how this wheel works. It's a real interesting thing. Um, we'll talk now specifically about the six oils in this kit. So doTERRA Motivate is the encouraging blend. It's got peppermint, clementine, coriander, basil, yuzu peel, melissa leaf, rosemary leaf, and vanilla bean. And um, it has a clean, fresh, minty smell. It's going to promote feelings of confidence, courage, and belief, and counteract negative emotions of doubt, pessimism, and cynicism. So I do like Motivate. I, I will use that sometimes in the morning, especially during the school year when I'm tired and I have to get up and get my kids ready for school. I will diffuse that while I'm, you know, running around doing stuff to get ready in the morning. Cheer, I do really like this one. Um, it's the uplifting blend. It's got wild orange peel, clove bud, star anise, fruit seed, lemon myrtle leaf, nutmeg kernel, vanilla bean extract, ginger rhizome, cinnamon bark, and I'm going to mess this up. I know it. Zitervectiz herb, whatever, however you pronounce that. And it's um, fresh, spicy, warm smell. And I do like, sometimes I'll just diffuse this when I'm in the house just doing stuff during the day or at, in my massage room. I really do like the smell of this. It promotes feelings of optimism, cheerfulness, and happiness. And it counteracts negative emotions if you're going down, blue, or low. I'll, I will diffuse this sometimes in February. I hate the month of February. Um, in general, it's cold and it's dark and the holidays are over, and I just want spring to get there, so sometimes I will diffuse cheer um, in that month a lot. Then also, um, you've got doTERRA's Passion Inspiring Blend. So this one has fractionated coconut oil, cardamom seed, cinnamon bark, ginger rhizome, clove blood, sandalwood, jasmine flower, vanilla bean, and damian leaf, damiana leaf. Um, it's got a fresh, spicy, warm smell. It does smell spicy to me. And this ignites feelings of excitement, passion, and joy. It can counteract negative feelings of boredom and disinterest. Um, sometimes I'll just use this too if like, I'm going on a long car ride or I just need to kind of be, get more passion. I need more excitement. Um, I will tend to use that. I'll put it on the back of my neck. Forgive, as I said um, earlier, it counteracts negative emotions of anger and guilt. It promotes feelings of contentment, relief, and patience. This oil has um, spruce leaf, bergamot peel, juniper berry, fruit, myrrh resin, arbor vitae wood, nutka tree wood, thyme leaf, and um, citronella herb. And it's an herbaceous, fresh, woody smell. Not my favorite smell, but it does really work well with emotions on getting rid of that negative emotion of anger and guilt and having more feelings of contentment and patience and relief. Console is a blend that has frankincense resin, patchouli leaf, ylang ylang flower, labdanum leaf, stalk, amorous bark, sandalwood, rose flower, and osmanthus flower. And it's got a sweet musky floral smell. Um, promotes feelings of comfort and hope, counteracts negative emotions of grief, sadness, and hopelessness. So um, I have given this to people when they have been going through some rough times. Sometimes I'll just use it on me if I'm just having a, kind of a rough day uh, and kind of help. It helps. It does help. 
um, give you some comfort and some hope. Peace, one of my all time favorites. It's got vetiver root. Vetiver is so good uh, for anxiety. Lavender flower, ylang ylang flower, res um, frankincense resin, clary sage flower, marjoram leaf, laudanum leaf, stalk, and spearmint herb. And it's a sweet, rich, minty smell. I do love this oil. Um, it promotes feelings of peace, reassurance, and contentment. It counteracts anxious and fearful emotions. And also, because it's got the ylang ylang in there, it's real, and the clary sage, it's actually really good um, to use for balancing your hormones because clary sage is going to metabolize excess estrogen and ylang ylang just helps with the hormonal balance of, of things in the body as well. So your routine. You want to pick the oil, like I said earlier, when you're smelling these oils, you want to pick the oil that speaks to you. So it will tell, it'll tell you what you need. Um, you want to find the aromas that you find pleasing. You want to journal your feelings. So if you're really trying to get a, a handle on these emotions, you want to smell these things and write down how you feel. And then think, you know, it's, then you can look back at your journal, that think pad we've talked about this whole time, and you can see, oh, when I was feeling this way, this oil worked for me. When I was feeling this way, this oil worked. Because not everybody um, is going to have the same oil that works for them. Everybody's different. Our body chemistry is different. And what works for me to help me be relaxed might not work for somebody else. So you want to find the oil that speaks to you. You want to journal your feelings so that you know. Here are some good readings. Um, if you're wanting to read more about emotions and essential oils, there's an emotions and essential oil book. And there's also another book that's called Feelings, Very Alive, Never Die. So it's just some great books on um, emotional healing and, and mood management and all that type of stuff. And again, uh, I always finish every class with talk about how to get oil. So hopefully um, you have your own oils. If you don't, I really, really, really recommend that you get with me. Um, you email me. You can email me at zenzoneonlinewellness at gmail.com. You can um, contact me through Facebook. Uh, I've got a Zenzone Facebook page, or you can look up Heather Carada. You can call me um, and my at, at the Zenzone, and that phone number is 859-496-0128. So get, get your oils. You need to get your oils if you don't have them. Um, and then if you have your oils, uh, doTERRA has a great program that's called the Loyalty Rewards Program, and it's an optional program that you can opt in at any time, and you can get out if you don't want to be in it. Um, what this program allows you to do is to get free products, and what you do is when you order, you have to order every month, but there's not a particular amount that you have to order every month. As you see at the bottom there, um, to maintain your LRP, you have to you have to order something. That's it. That's it. Um, to earn rewards, points, and increase the percentage of points that you earn with doTERRA, you have to buy at least $50 worth of stuff each month. To earn your fast start commissions, that's talking about getting paid through doTERRA, you have to order at least 100. And to get the free product of the month, you have to order 125. Um, so every month there's a free product doTERRA has, and if you spend 125 PV, which if you're buying just oils, is pretty much $125. Um, you get a free oil that month. Also, you earn money back on what you spend. So when you start out the first, the first, second, and third month, you earn 10% of the money that you spend. The fourth through sixth month, you earn 15. The seventh through ninth, you earn 20. The tenth through twelfth, you earn 25. And on after the twelfth month, of the thirteenth month, you earn 30% back. So I've been with doTERRA now for about a year and a half, and I earn 30% back every time I order. That means. When I place my order every month, if I spend $100, the next month I get 30 bucks. And you also get your shipping back, which is right now about $7. So if I just spend $100 every month, I get $37 the next month to spend. I can spend it that month or I can save it up and I can use that money to buy some of the more expensive oils. I tend to do that. Or if I've just got a big order that month, I will use some of my free points so that I'm not spending just an exorbitant amount of money that month on oils. Um, it's a great program. Even if you just order a couple things a month, it will pay. It'll it'll pay for itself. It, like I said, it's a free program, but you'll be able to get some free products from it. It's just a really good program. Um, what I suggest people do if they do the LRP program is to just keep something in your cart that you use all the time. That way, if you forget to go and put in different oils that you want that month, you will get something that you use all the time. Like maybe you're going to put a lavender in there or a lemon. Um, lemon oil is ten bucks, so um, you would. 
get your, if you forget to get all the other oils you want, you would get 11 for $10. Um, but it's a real good program. And then that's going to help you get your oils free each month. And then also you've got a, if you really get into your oils and you share, like I share, um, one-on-one, -on -one, you do your classes, whatever, you can actually get paid for sharing your love of the oils. And um, there are fast start bonuses. You can get um, power three team bonuses. So you can earn bonuses if you order $100 and then the three people underneath you, let's say you get three people, they order $100 or more at that together. If you guys spend at least $600, then you would get $50 pay that month. And then if a few people underneath you get three people underneath each of them and they all do the same thing, you get $250 of a bonus. And then if you continue replicating that, um, your second level down of people, if they, each of them gets three people underneath them that orders at least $100 a month, then you would get $1,500 a month in a bonus. And then doTERRA also will pay you Unilevel. Um, you would get paid a percentage of the purchases underneath you so um, they actually flip it where you get paid the least amount on the people that are directly underneath you and then you get paid more of a percentage on the people that are way low down because doTERRA is really all about helping people and not just keeping all this hoarding all this for yourself so when you share your level oils and you help people um, doTERRA recognizes that and they compensate you for that so they give you some fast start bonuses. They give you, you can earn team bonuses and you get a percentage. And then the more people you help and teach other people to help other people, you get a bigger percentage of that in your you know, level pay. Um, being part of doTERRA, when you get into it and you really think about this as being a great way to earn a little extra income or maybe potentially earn a lot of income um, to help out. That's another thing that causes stress nowadays is finance. Financials always cause stress. Um, there are different ranks that you can kind of strive for. There's some underneath silver that I won't mention in this class, but again, um, if you come to a class face-to-face, -face, we can talk more, and I also have business classes um, once a month at least. So uh, the silver rank, when you hit the silver rank, the average person with doTERRA who is a silver rank makes about $2,125 a month. The average uh, earnings for a person who has reached gold is $4,600 a month. Diamond is $16,000 a month. Blue diamond is $36,500 a month. And the presidential diamond is $106,800 a month. See, it's such a big number, I can't even say it. But there are definite, um, there's definitely potential out there to earn some income with doTERRA, whether it be just a small amount of income to pay for your oils or you want to strive for one of these leadership ranks and really um, help to supplement your income or replace your income and just give your whole household a better sense of peace financially. So again, if this is something that interests you, please contact me. I'd be happy to talk more about it. Come to a face-to-face -face class if you can. Um, it's all about sharing. It's all about sharing what these oils can do. They're so amazing. Um, this week, again, we talked about emotions, but you can see in these eight weeks all the different things that oils can help us. So um, hope you enjoyed today. Hope you learned a lot. And I look forward to seeing you next time. All right. Have a great one. Bye.